Hi, I'm Becky Perez. Welcome to Amazing Science Lessons. I will be demonstrating a math activity. The objective is to measure objects using non-standard measurement. The children will be creating an insect measuring booklet. Through this activity, we have targeted some skills that's going to help the student uh, reinforce, it's going to help them develop different skills. Let me share them with you, okay? The first one is that they'll be counting objects. As you can see here, I have different objects. I have paper clips, I have Unifix cubes, and just plastic animals. So they'll be counting objects when they're used doing this activity. Another one, they'll be writing the number. After they count their object, then they're going to be writing the number, okay? Also, they're going to be writing the insect name. So, they're going to be writing uh, vocabulary words, which is going to expand the vocabulary words because they are writing the insect name. And also, you can also provide uh, uh, a poster with the names of the uh, animals. And then, of course, before they even start to, to measure, they have to estimate. They have to think about it. You know, estimate is so important because they have to really think. So that's what they're going to be doing. And of course, materials needed here are going to be, these are, are just regular, they call them flashcards, and they're like three by nine that you can purchase. Uh, different size of insects. And of course, the objects that I had mentioned earlier. And what you do, you just take about five of these sheets and you uh, staple at the end. And it's important that they use this side of the booklet, not this side, because it would be so much easier for them to write and draw. Okay? So, and as I said, the title of it is, How Long Is Your Insect? So we're going to go ahead and write the title. So they can come, they will write their title, How Long Is Your Insect? So they write it, and then they can also just draw their little insect. I'll go ahead and draw it here. And, and with students at this age, they just they just draw simple, but yet they know since they've been learning in science the characteristics of the animal, so they'll of the insect, they'll be able to draw their little insect. So what you do first, we're going to go ahead and measure our first one. I'm going to go ahead and fold it back so we'll be able to uh, to uh, able to write. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take an ant and I'm going to put it here. Okay. And first I'm going to, and I'm going to, I think I'm going to use Unifix cubes this here. So I'm going to take my cubes and I'm going to estimate first. Hmm. All right, look, I maybe four. Let me try four cubes. So I'm going to go ahead and put four. I'm going to go one and I'm going to count as I go along. Two. Remember, I am estimating three, four, hmm, yeah, I think I have one more, it's, it's one more longer, so I'm going to go ahead and take one away, because it looks like it takes three, so then the child will go ahead, and he will write three, because it is three, three, and he used cubes, so he'll write cubes, and then of course he's going to draw his little insect, his little ant, And it looks like this. See? So there you have it. So he's able to write. The child is able to, to connect the number uh, with the object. So here you have a child that probably is already ready and is at this level he's able to do this. Okay? So then we'll take another insect. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take a beetle. I'm going to put it on my plate like this, on my, on my, on my, on my uh, paper. And then I'm going to this time and say, let's try, let me try some bears. Okay, I'm going to ask, maybe let's try one bear. Okay, so I'll put one bear. Hmm. Okay. Oh, no. Mm -mm. It's not long enough. It doesn't measure. So I think I need another bear. Perfect. So it took how many bears? Two. Okay, so he'll come over here. And he'll write, and he's able to count two. He'll go one, two. So he'll write the number two. OK. 
okay and he's saying hold up and b for bears you know because maybe it's, he's not ready to write the word bear you know but he knows that it starts with a b and he wants to write the word beetle so he's going to refer to the chart okay two bears so i'm going to beetle so i'm going to go ahead and write beetle b and i'm going to look at the chart e e t l e okay so it looks like that a beetle now i'm going to draw my beetle and it looks like it's long in the back got this and this and of course it's six little legs one two three four five six and this child might be at this level he might be at this level able to copy the word able to write the number two and he knows that beetle starts with the letter b okay then take another one i'm going to try the grasshopper now so i'm going to get the grasshopper put it right here okay i'm going to try some cubes now let me try some cubes with the grasshopper so i'm going to say hmm let's say six that means because it's long so i'm going to think long okay one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I said six. Six. I can count. Yeah, six. But, no, oh, okay, six. But it looks like it's longer. But I'm going to, yeah, I'll just take it away. Take one away. So then, here, I'm going to write, okay, my grasshopper, okay, was five. I go one, two, three, four, five, but I write the number two. And I know this is a grasshopper. It starts with a little grasshopper. I know it starts with a letter G. So I'm going to write G. Okay, then I'm going to draw my little grasshopper. Let me draw it. my grasshopper but it but if you look at this child he counted he counted five cubes so it shows you that he can count he can road count but he's not a he's not a, he wasn't able to identify the object with the number so this is an excellent evaluation and also look at his insect he's having trouble so remember they've been learning in science about the characteristics so this is a, a really good evaluation this child is, is not ready yet so that means we have to go back and reinforce and reteach okay so then we have another child we'll just, uh, then we'll take the little B we'll measure one more okay and of course we'll look at our we'll look at our B okay wow I'm gonna try a paper clip now it looks like it's the same size if I look at it. I'm going to estimate one. Good. One. So the child writes. Okay, he moves it out of the way. So he writes one. And he clip. He might write just the word clip. And he knows it's a B. And B. And he might just write it like this. B, the way he hears it. Okay. And then he can draw his little B. So see, you're able, through this activity, there's so many uh, uh, things you can see. You can see where the, the level of the children are at. And it's a really good activity to see the different levels where your child is at. Uh, this concludes the demonstration. Thank you.